Hey, it's Brian here from Quantlabs.net. I am now going to be showing you for the very first time in all these 600 plus videos most exciting part of MATLAB and the most powerful part of MATLAB and the most expensive part of MATLAB. What I want to show is called MATLAB Production Server. Now I'm using MATLAB 2014A. This feature has been part of uh, MATLAB for about a year now. This is a big deal. Uh, it simplifies how to bridge all your technology into your MATLAB scripts. So let me just give you a rundown of what we can do here. So essentially in this installation guide, this is the workflow that we're going to work with. We create a series of MATLAB functions in our M script. We deploy them using a MATLAB builder uh, process to create a CTF. And once we create that CTF, we uh, basically uh, put them in this folder uh, called auto deploy. That's part of the MATLAB compiler runtime. And this is the very cool part about it is that it enables any of my Java, C Sharp, any .NET application to be able to uh, call my uh, CTF, which is a representation of my MATLAB M script uh, uh, here. Now, I've watched a numerous um, uh, numerous webinars on this and supposedly these clients not just Java and C sharp but it can be also applied to a Python script pretty well anything as far as I have known um, now I could be wrong on that it could also include any of the commercial enterprise level software like SAS or who knows anything that collects and connects into an HTTP type of server can use this type of technology and this capability of the MATLAB production server so today I'm just going to give you a very general overview of how this works and I'm also going to show you a C Sharp script that connects to it. Alright, so first thing is is that we're going to use uh, a script called Magic, or sorry, My Magic Square. And um, essentially, uh, let me just maybe, I'm just going to go through this installation document. So it's no different than something like this. You have an, a MATLAB M script and it does a simple calculation of some kind, okay? And what we do is when you're in your MATLAB, what you're looking for is uh, the production server. Now, let me just show that to you here. Okay, so our production server compiler uh, enables us to basically no different than compiling a a uh, a, uh, a MATLAB builder, a process or MATLAB coder. It's much simpler in the MATLAB 2014A. So in this case, we're going to create a deployable archive, a CTF, add our scripts, and um, uh, basically somewhere we just package it up, and it and it builds. Um, and uh, let me just show you what that all that looks like. Okay, so here we have the magic square. Uh, wrong one, of course. So we have my magic here. This is what is uh, the CTF that I described gets put into the production server, um, the production server uh, folder. Now there's a special way to create your MATLAB server environment. So let me show you that. Um, Basically, is you need to use a pro uh, something on the command prompt called MPS new, and what that will do is that will enable you to create right here MPS new the path and the server name and the server name that you want to uh, call it. So in my case, I've called it uh, very simply MATLAB product product server. So I put everything into the temp folder. Okay, and uh, this is it here. And when it creates the new, when you type that MPS hyphen new, it creates all these folders. And uh, here's it's no different than if you're familiar with Tomcat, Web Apache. You have a deploy folder for all your components that you want to uh, deploy into the server. So in this case, we have this My Magic CTF. Just mentioned that already. 
Uh, now let's talk about the configuration of your production server when you uh, type that command MPS new. Alright, so what we have here is we have a, a, a main configure file. Let me just open that for you. There's a few tricks that I learned along the way. Maybe some of you have noticed uh, I need to help here and some people have obliged. Thank you very much. But what it turned out it was a licensing problem and it was just having difficulty binding uh, to where it was. So I was using this HTTP 9910 option and I also use this uh, local host uh, 9910. Neither of them work for some reason. So I was able to use this one and I'll bind to any f available free port on the system and where it will tell you is if you go to this f uh, folder path endpoint HTTP it'll tell you what the server uh, and the uh, port will be that you need to bind to. So let me just go to that. So that is under the endpoint and this is the file it wants me to go to and uh, that's what I got to enter in. So if I go to my browser, um, let me just try this one. Any browser will do. It could be, as I said, it's no different than any other web Apache or any type of Apache server, it's just specific to obviously uh, to, uh, there we go. And here, let me just. Uh, so, oh, bad browser, bad, 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 bad. Let me just bring up my Firefox here. Let me try that. So, uh, okay. So I know I'm, I'm, I'm working with something. So that was what I needed to enter in. But if I typed in, I don't know, some junky port, can't, can't understand it. So uh, let me just try something else here. Uh, yeah, I can't find it. So we know this is working, right? So let me just do another test to show you that it's not working. So here, under my TMP, uh, I can do a few things. So let's say I want to stop the server. We know it's running because it doesn't say anything, but it, it, it's not spitting a, an error either. So if I do a stop for the server, diagnostics isn't too good. <laughs> but if I try to search for it, it's not finding it because it's not running right now. And there's a status um, to say if it started or not. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we know it's yeah una unable to connect. Okay, but if I go start now we know it's going to start because it says unable to connect let's see here should be able to connect but let's go to our code in the meantime so as I said here in Visual Studio uh, if you grab this uh, production server getting started tutorial this will walk you through the whole process but here's my code that I'm working with uh, the client code for the obviously C sharp uh, but it's binding to um, this HTTP when I just enter in and then it's going to try to connect to the my magic CTF uh, component which is um, let's see here under auto deploy. I showed that already, so it's going to try to connect to this component under the CTF. Let's see what's happening in the world of uh, hmm. It doesn't appear to be running. Oh, you know what? I am going to force it to run. That's what that does. So, da 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 da. What we could try to do.
Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. We are back in business. We got our uh, MATLAB production server running again. Um, yeah, when you relaunch it, you gotta know uh, when you look at this file, this HTTP file, under the um, under the endpoint here, uh, it reassigns a new port dynamically. So that's why I was not able to connect the first time. So every time you restart that MPS server, the MATLAB production server, gotta make sure because um, uh, it, it's gonna change the port. So in this case, it's a different port, which obviously you have to change in your client code or something. But I'm just showing you the, the basics of how this works. All right. So let's dive into the code here. So we're in the Magic Square Visual Studio C Sharp code. Again, this is taken pretty well for a pretty well, uh, yeah, it's the same code as you'd get um, in that uh, uh, PDF I just showed you, the um, getting started. Uh, so this, this seems to work. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, right here. Now I've reflected that new port 25081 the current uh, port, the uh, current MATLAB production server that's running. So in the code, all it's going to do is try to connect to it here. It's going to call the MATLAB function. See how clean this is? It's so simple. All you have to do is two lines and just one other line for the using and just add the proper reference is that uh, PDF will walk you through. Uh, it's much simpler than the builder any. That's a for sure thing. Um, and then uh, all you're doing uh, is you call that my magic uh, function, uh, and then you return a, a, an object. That the, the objects are much easier to work with now. Uh, just return that proper magic, and all this is really going to do is just print out the contents of that of that matrix. All right, so let's fire her up. Okay, so first thing, it's gonna try to connect to the magic square component on the server here, uh, the production server at port 20581 while it's running and it's gonna connect into that my magic uh, CTF component, which is really in the auto deploy right here, my magic CTF and that of course is created by this compiler process of the uh, uh, MATLAB production server, okay? And that will create your CTF for you. Okay, so that's the uh, first line. Let's do a step out here, or step over. So we know we now connected into the server. See so here, we got magic square. It's all good. And whatever. Okay, so now we're going to call that my magic function in that component, that CTF, using the four. And now we have a mag a, a double matrix of four by four. Let's print it out. Just continue it. So there we go. There's a four by four matrix. Press any key. Which is right here. Blah 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 blah. Runs it through two inner. Wow. Two uh, inner for loops and uh, press a key to continue. Done. So um, that is working just dandy. And uh, the cool thing is now that you have this ability to connect into your MATLAB scripts from both uh, C sharp and as I said for sure Java as well. I'm just going through the actual manual or PDF and the working example that what they provide is an actual uh, Monte Carlo simulator. Uh, in MATLAB you, you uh, build the um, you build the, uh, the CTF through this compiler in the MATLAB and then you have your C sharp client code connecting and using with an interface that uh, Monte Carlo simulator. Now again, that's with C Sharp and Java as well. So you can see the power that you can bring 
to the world with this MATLAB production server. And as I said, this is probably the most powerful, but yet easiest to use. It's fast, supposedly, uh, with uh, MATLAB. And as I said, I'm not going to say what the pricing is for this thing, but it's not cheap. But uh, if you can see the power of it, you can do a lot with it. And believe me, my little hamster, my brain is spinning like crazy right now. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good night.